Hello everyone, my name is Mina Koyama and I would like to talk about my business plan that make a product for hay fever. And to begin with, to begin with um, do you have hay fever? If you have, raise your hand. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, about 10 people have hay fever in this room, but um, I think you, we can't forget, we cannot forget that all people have a possibility to start getting hay fever. And so, and it is said that the amount of the pollen we breathe is, um, is, um, is ac accumulating more and more, and someday it's overflow, and then you start getting hay fever. And this is uh, the number of the people who have hay fever, and it becomes about double from 1998 to 2008, and and so so maybe it will be 20 people who have hay fever in this room. So I would like to talk about my business plan. First, the problem is there are a lot of people who have hay fever, so they cannot focus on what they do, for example, the study or work or shopping and so on. And this is also the problem that the number of the trees in the city is less than that in the countryside, but there are a lot of people who have hay fever in the city. Um, this is because the soil, soil can absorb the pollen in the countryside, but the concrete in the city cannot do that. So my solution is to make a product which absorbs the pollen and bury it in the ground. And, and this is a non-functional prototype. So it's the shape, it's like the shape and the size. Yeah, and, and I use the photocatalyst technology to make it. And also, I think I can bury it in the edge of the road, like like here. And and then I would like to talk about the technology. And the photocatalyst is a material which produces strong oxidizability in the surface when the light shines on it. And it also decomposes bacteria and virus into CO2 and water by sticking to the surface. And this reaction is semi-permanent, and this means uh, it is permanent as long as there is a light. And there's a, there's also um, calcium hydroxyapatite, and which is good at attaching bacteria and virus. And then when when we make when we make it have a photocatalyst to the calcium hydroxyapatite, we can make a material called titanium apatite. And this this is used to make a pollen mask, which um, which attach and decompose the pollen. And their market size and about 26.5 percent of the people in Japan have a hay fever. And surprisingly, the 48.8 percent of the people in Tokyo have hay fever. And my business model is first I. I have to patent my idea, and then I will cooperate with a company called Shonen Ceramics, which developed the technology, uh, which developed the photocatalyst technology. And finally, I sell the idea to the government. And there is uh, another is other things that can relieve the hay fever. Um, for example, for the mask, glasses, and medicines, and cleaners. But problem mask and glasses and medicine can solve only a personal problem, and air cleaners can be used only a given place, and it uses electricity. And but in contrast, my product can can be used not only for people who have hay fever, but also for people who don't have hay fever, and also it can be used without the electricity. So my product it has uh, some advantage that others don't have. So it will, it will be helpful for our life. Thank you for that. Thank you for the great presentation. I think it's an amazing idea. I would love to see this actually in reality because hay fever season is actually the worst in Tokyo. 
Um, how much do you need to deploy it in a, a city to actually be effective? Mm -hmm. um, so how much of those blocks do you need to put in a city so it actually reduces people's uh, hay fever symptoms? Uh, I cannot, like, I haven't decided yet, but I think um, this is this, this big, so I think this is many. <laughs> no, but I, I think it would be a great uh, kind of proposal or experiment that you kind of model. Um, I think your customer basically is the government. It's not something a, a private industry or something can scale. But if you come up with a proposal with, you know, you need this many in a city to actually have an effective decrease in hay fever symptoms, that's something that you can sell to the government, which is really good. Um, I, I wonder if you have checked your competitors because did you know that there is a paint that does all of this? It's exactly the same method, exactly the same way. So they are used on roofs and walls and it kills all the bacteria the same way. Um, I was wondering what would we do? If you know about them, I wanted to know what's your advantage comparing with them. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I just wanted to say that it was a very creative and technologically advanced way of looking at solving a huge problem in Japan. And um, I, I don't really, I guess a comment for me is that actually more than just the government, I would actually say that business could potentially also be your client because any of their employees suffering from hay fever loses productivity and for them to offer to uh, their employees that you know we are investing in making you healthier I think is also an area that you can look into. It's really great. I really liked it. Um, do, did you actually have a question? It's really clear that everybody wants to solve this problem. But did you actually have a survey or like ask around your family or friends? Uh, I ask my friends on Instagram that, and if you have a hay fever or not. And the, the almost half people have hay fever. Uh, I mean, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm like asking like, do you really want to use my product? That kind of question. Uh, this this idea is actually come from my friends, so and I I talk with talk this idea with my friends, so not um, many people, but many people. yeah, my okay, friends. Okay, thank you. <laughs>